This video is for those who have an older Toyota model, 90s or early 2000s, with uh, the following symptoms and how to fix it. The first symptom is the speedometer needle not working at all, staying at zero as you take off in your car. The second issue would be the odometer is complete, display is completely blank. And the third thing would be your shifting is erratic as you are driving makes it seem like your transmission is going out and those are the only three sy symptoms uh, the rest of the instrument panels uh, gauges are working properly and uh, this video is here to show you on how to fix those uh, fix that specific issue uh, if you only have one of these issues I can't guarantee that this fix uh, is for you uh, but this is uh, there are several ways to do it you can replace your whole entire instrument cluster panel and that can cost anywhere between 60 to over $100 if you're buying it from a junkyard or on eBay. Uh, this fix will only cost you anywhere between $5 and $15 uh, if you already have uh, some of the tools or not. So the issue that is causing this is a bad ceramic resonator that is underneath the display there. It's a little blue blob that you see uh, right underneath there. And uh, according to what the research I've done, uh, when that starts to aging or if it starts to get extremely hot in your vehicle whenever you start uh, your vehicle, uh, everything goes uh, blank and you start having the shifting erratically and as your car cools down, at least in my case, it started working properly again. Uh, so to keep that from happening, I found a piece uh, that I can give you a link to. Uh, it's a, another ceramic resonator replacement part that you can get online and I will show a link to that below the video here and uh, show you how you can remove that piece there and solder it back into place and since it's kind of a tight area to get into, and though I did not want to take this thing completely apart, so I did not damage anything, uh, you can easily uh, fix the issue by uh, soldering that piece on the back of it here, on those three places right there, one, two, and three. And uh, you can see there, uh, whenever you get your replacement part, there's three little pieces that you can put, um, or three little legs sticking out that you can mount right on the back of that by using a soldering iron and this should uh, fix your issue and we'll see if it works. I've heard people say that bending the resonator 45 degrees uh, can help it uh, temporarily uh, make it work, but um, I've heard that it doesn't last very long, so you'd be better off just replacing the uh, resonator completely. So I'm gonna be bending it back and forth, back and forth so many times, I found out I didn't even need pliers. Uh, the piece was able to fall right out, as you can see right there. That is the part that we need to replace. No professional when it comes to soldering, uh, but you can look up a how-to video before you get started and you can purchase a soldering kit for about $10 on Amazon, which I'll provide a link to in the description below. But some things to keep in mind uh, during the soldering process, it created three holes uh, where the previous piece was and I just stuck this piece uh, with the three legs through the holes. And one thing to keep in mind is to make sure that those three bases there are not touching each other. Uh, as that could cause a short uh, whenever you finally get this back into your vehicle. If you want to know how to take your instrument panel apart, just reverse this process that I'm about to do here. So I'm carefully placing everything back inside, and it takes five screws uh, to hold the speedometer in its place there. One, two, three, four, five. Next, we place the cover back on, and your speedometer instrument cluster might look a little bit different from this. If you have a different model Toyota, this one specifically is for a 1998 Toyota Avalon. So make sure all the tabs are lined up, making sure that you're able to fit uh, your little control here. Make sure everything's all clicked through all the way around. So 
like we're good there. And then last thing, there should be one more screw that's gonna go in right there, which helps hold this together. Okay, this is ready now to be screwed back into my vehicle and it might be a slightly different process compared to what you have, but you might be able to look at some other YouTube videos if you need to see specifically how to take apart uh, your panel and remove the trim to be able to get to your instrument cluster and have that removed, but that's a pretty easy process. Start it up and see if it works. Speedometer comes on and I got my correct reading. That would not have happened if I just replaced the whole entire cluster. So that's one reason I wanted to replace just the resonator so I can keep my true reading of mileage on there. I'm gonna give it a quick test drive and let's see how it goes. to be shifting beautifully. Looks like the issue's been fixed.